Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and I'm getting ready to make my day eight page for my road trip series. And for those of you who followed me for a while, you uh, you know that the eighth was the big day. Uh, it was our anniversary, and um, uh, when we took the road trip in 2016, it was anniversary number 35. And um, so, uh, I may, uh, <laughs> I've, I've tried to wait to make this until I'd, you know, kind of gotten over the weepies, but I'm not going to get over the weepies today. So that's, luckily I'm, I'm going to be busy. I have a doctor's appointment, which means a drive into Atlanta, which I dread, but anyway. Let's start this. I'm starting out with um, the Mind the Scrap colors, some film strips, some um, fussy cuts from a paper, a Valentine paper. I forget what it was, but I thought it would be appropriate for anniversary. Some baseball-related kinds of things and a sticker that has some zoo-related kinds of things because on our anniversary on that road trip, we went to the zoo first, and that's these four pictures. Uh, we met with uh, my best friend from um, uh, early years, elementary school, Robbie, and a former colleague of ours, uh, Carol, who had uh, retired and, and moved to the Denver area. And this is the Denver Zoo. And I just, I, I, I took a million photos. And one of these days I wanna do a complete grid of all the photos at the zoo and kind of tell the stories behind them. But um, that's not this day. <laughs> This is the stadium for the, uh, uh, as, as, as soon as we got back from the zoo, Robbie picked us up at the hotel, took us to the zoo, uh, took us back to the hotel, and we had lunch together. And I don't have any photos of that. We just kind of sat there and talked like we'd never, ever been apart. And then um, we, John and I walked over later in, in the evening to Coors Field, and we took our bad selfie in front of the fee the ballpark like we did at all the ballparks. And then uh, uh, following in John's chocolate uh, tradition, he found we found a vendor selling uh, chocolate skewers. <laughs> I, we didn't get one, <laughs> so I can't tell you what they're like. And then I took this. This was actually a sunset picture where you can just barely kind of see the light here when I filtered it. I'm not so happy with this photo or this photo of the um, the gibbon crossing the line there. Well, when we got back home to the hotel, uh, the hotel had, had gifted us with a bottle of champagne and some uh, chocolates and some berries. So that was nice. So I'm gonna cut these. I printed these about two and two and a third inches by two and a third inches uh, square on, on this one. And then I used that same width on the ones that I was leaving um, portrait mode instead of, um, instead of uh, editing them and, and cropping them square. So, and I printed them on, uh, cause I knew they were gonna be you know, fairly long. I printed them on 12 by 12 paper, and now I'm cutting them out. Normally, I would have done this beforehand, but um, I have a lot of questions about uh, how I do the film strips. When I brought them onto my word processing system, I, I gave it a, a 12 by 12 sheet, and that was the the space I had to work on, and I defined that to my word processor. And then I brought in the first square, I sized it, and then I put a border around it, which is an option on the word processor. And I brought the others in, and you can kind of see the spacing in between 
gets a little bit bigger as we go along. That's a mistake on, on my part. That was not intentional. And sometimes on my, uh, that's a, that's probably a factor of my, um, my age and quality of vision. These, I did the same width as these, so the strip would be the same size, but I left them because the first photo, you couldn't have gotten in, um, I, I would have, to get it square and for you to see the words Coors Field, um, I wouldn't have been in the picture, <laughs> and, and I was there. So um, I left these portrait, and it turns out that the others were also in portrait mode when I took them, so I don't think I had to edit them. Maybe this one. This one might have been landscape, and I might have filtered that. But now I'm going to cut this. And this leaves the, this one I made a little bit bigger. It's a little bit wider, close. And this leaves me a piece of paper that I can still print on. So I'll put that over in the stack. And then I'm just, uh, cutting, and I, you know, if you watch my pages much, you know I'm not very good at measuring this. I don't measure, and I'm not very good at eyeballing it, but in the end, with embellishments, it doesn't usually matter. At least it doesn't matter to me, and I'm the old lady whose albums it's going to go in. So, now, let's take the page. I have this washi tape, which I'm going to make a border around it with. Let me take the these things off and let me, there's no particular reason other than I had a scrap, this scraps this size um, and they're the right color for the, um, not mind the scrap colors, this 12 by 12 isn't always 12 by 12. So the 12 inches on this pink cardstock isn't the same as the 12 inches on the white. So, and this, I'm just gonna kind of scooch in right there. No particular reason for this, um, this background shape because it's not going to matter once we start piling on all this other stuff. Okay, so the zoo pictures are first and I had envisioned that they would cut across and be kind of halfway on the pink. And I thought I'd use that film strip kind of a little ways down. This one, I'm gonna do it a slightly different angle and maybe bring it down a bit. And then I'm gonna use this guy Let's do this at more of an angle. So this can be at less of an angle, but still not be straight. And then this will go 
kind of like that. I had in mind, uh, um, it's going to be my uh, song title. It's going to be What a Beautiful Day. It's a, a song by Chris Cagle, and the lyrics um, kind of talk about day one, day two. It's kind of a road trip through life, and um, I, I, I like the, the sentiment. So I guess I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna fill out the what a, uh, and then day with these little alphas. Let's see how this is gonna work. I may not have room for the embellishments that I had planned unless I kind of make some adjustments here. Uh, let's do, do I want this one maybe this way, leaving some room for embellishments, and then have this kind of down here. And maybe put the film strip over on the other side. These film strips are from um, two different color collections from um, 49 and Market. Uh, I'm going to commit and I'm going to cut foam strips to go behind the long ones. They're about the same length, and then a, no, that's not exactly square, let's do that. So I, I'm kind of showing the guts of, of what I do for this page. <clears throat> because I kind of drew it out. <laughs> you can kind of see <laughs> this is my plan. <laughs> and um, so I hadn't gone much farther than that and I have uh, of the embellishments that I've identified. I want this crossing this line, but it doesn't have to be as, uh, as evident. Okay, so that's actually held down by this. So I'm not gonna put any more glue on it. And this one, and what this allows by putting the strip in the center allows me to tuck things under. And if you watch me, you know that that doesn't always work out. I'm going to do this one like that, and, and maybe this here, or I made a mistake here and not, uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's just cut it. That leaves me another piece I can use, and which one has the best color? I kind of like this one. Let's do that like so. This one I do have to put some glue on, but I'm maybe going to just anchor it in a couple small places. Okay, there. And then this one.
I might switch back to this way. Do I want it also on the teal paper? I'll make it straight and put that at an angle. And yeah, we'll go with that kind of overlapping the teal paper. And I've got, let me do the embellishments for this one first. There, and I've got this guy. We'll see if I can fit it all in. Maybe I'll do it this way. And this way. Or this way. I want to leave room for the baseball stuff, but that can go kind of here and here. Did that, that's moving. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna tuck that under, I think, under here. And this is a little, uh, camera okay so that's kind of where we are with that one now for the baseball stuff I've got this strip that has the baseballs coming down and I can do that that way or this way. I think I like it this way, but I think I'm gonna want um, a foam strip behind it. This is cut from a baseball themed Project Life card, which is also where I fussy cut this bat from. And I'm sorry I didn't show you that part, but I did these kind of in the in the middle of the night. Um, I pulled out my sports themed stuff, which I used to use. I used to have it on my desk all the time because it's seen every single time that um, the kids came to visit or after they lived here, there were there were sports themed uh, photos to, to scrap. Okay, so the bat already has a, a foam strip behind it. And I'm gonna kind of put that like so. And I was thinking the baseball would go tucked under. I'm going to have to cut it in half, I think, because I don't. It's too big. Let's see what half I want. Let me. We're going to go to more baseball games, so if I cut it in half and leave the foam strip behind it, then I still have. I will still use that. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, that seems to work. I have those things around there. Now let's do the zoo. Oh, I also have these um, stars inside circles that came with the 
Um, in my sports themed uh, embellishments, they're kind of And I thought I'd put those there and I'll do some, um, uh, add some, in you know, some, um, oh, Nouveau drops. And I gotta figure which color to use. I've got this little group of them. There's a fair amount of yellow in the photos, so I could go with yellow that might stand out. But what I'm more thinking I'd like is this uh, copper penny color. I think I've, I've got the color requirements met, so it's just finding something that looks good on the page. So that's the last thing after the washi tape. The washi tape is going to be a frame. Okay, let's go for the zoo. I'm going to, I've got this, oh, I'm, I've got this yellow bit right here that I thought I could put on Here, it's probably obvious, but I thought that was kind of cute. And then <clears throat> I thought underneath that, I would put this kind of tropical leaf. Because even though Denver is not a tropical location, they do uh, kind of reproduce some tropical environments for the animals. Okay, so I have these guys that are looking the wrong way. The darn it, the um, I love those giraffes, but I could just as easily use this little guy. And I have some other colorful bits I might want to use. That's a shame, um, but, and, and this is a, a it's, it's great. This um, gorilla is no longer at the Denver Zoo. It's been uh, the, the family that was there, the, the troop, I guess they're called. Um, they, this is Tinga, and she had just had a baby called Whimsy, and they were sent to another zoo, and they got in three uh, new bachelors that were young enough to leave their um, their families, but not old enough to have their own troops yet, so... Okay, and this was amazing. Watching this happen, this, this little guy ha hadn't particularly been trained or anything and, and was just amazing. Everyone with his uh, just natural showmanship. I'm going to take this beautiful... This song is, is just amazing. I, I am not, um, at, the lyrics are amazing.
and it was perfect. Okay, and I won't make you watch me pull out what a uh, and day, but that will be next. Let me see if there's anything else. There's, um, I, I've, I, I really don't think I need any other embellishments. And for me, that's saying something. Um, there's, I've got this little thing of popcorn. I don't like the ed, end of that showing. See, I've covered it here and I've covered it here. Um, I could sneak this in like so, and I can kind of put it under the, the baseball bat. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just kind of tucked in, and it, it has the heart there. Let me add this little red geotag because I'm saying that we're at the zoo here. And I think I have, um, let's see, welcome to the jungle. Let's go explore having a wild time. Adventure forever. I like that. Because this day was filled with the adventure of the animals at the zoo and the game at the ballpark and the, the you know, coming home to the, you know, the, the, champagne and the whole trip was an adventure that we weren't, I, I, I want to say we weren't sure we could do. Afterwards, we, we looked back in amazement that we did it, especially John um, kept saying, um, I can't believe we did that. <laughs> Let's see, I don't want it there, um, but it kind of, kind of works there. And it has the little heart. And in this uh, Fantastico Alpha set, there are some hearts and stars. I need to remember that if I need a, a, a star on a page that's not particularly, um, that doesn't really take over the page or define the page. So, I um, I thank you for following along, and I appreciate your. Um, well, let's let's do the washi tape. But all of that's true. I thank you for watching along, and I appreciate your following me. Um, I've got this washi tape that has little hearts on it. And let me get it out. And I need to put it on so that the hearts are oriented the right way. This could take a minute, I suppose. Um, let me get it really kind of scooched down on the page. And this photo is going to kind of go up over it. It kind of went up over here, but I don't think that's going to matter. I can kind of adjust it later. Maybe I'll just leave it down there and not frame the whole page. What do you think? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tear it and I'm gonna wrap it behind and 
kind of glue it back here. And I'm just going to rub the glue on top of it and, and kind of blend it in. That will secure the end of it. Um, I can do a little bit there. Okay. So I, I think that's, that looks nice down, down there. This paper is wanting to stay up. So I'm going to glue it down. It was a little bit warped the way it was a scrap, just this piece kind of all by itself. And, um, I, I had it standing upright in a stand and the bottom of it got a little bit warped. Okay, so having done that, um, I, 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 do, I do, if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound, right? I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and do these letters. because I can't do that. The, um, I can't do the, the Nuva dots until everything is down or I just, I'll forget and so what a and then day And I want to put a 35 on there somewhere, just for the heck of it. Adventure Forever, I'm going to put the 35 down here with a heart. And the hotel, actually, the card said Happy 35th. And... I suppose when we checked in, John must have told them. Uh, I think in, as part of the registration process, they had asked if there was a birthday or, or um, anniversary that we were celebrating. And I'm pretty sure I told them it was our anniversary but I'm just, uh, I'm not, I don't like that right there, actually. I think I'm just gonna put it there because I've, Taking it off the, the the page. Okay, now we'll do the nouveau dots. Is there anything else? I'm just loving this little guy, and I kind of want to use it. I also loved the balloons, but there's just absolutely no room for the balloons. So maybe I could do that right there. And it's up on foam already, but I'm going to, I have a little bit of foam that I can add to it. So let me do that. It just, I don't know. I've used this green here and this green here. And so that makes kind of a trio of green. That's my excuse. Now, Enamel, or uh, not enamel dots, but Nouveau drops. Let me test it. And I have a little, a little test scrap of paper here. Uh, 
Okay, these are gonna have the little um, I'm going to put a line of them down here. They're going to have the little tips and I need to watch a, a video on how to prevent those. They're, I've really messed up down here by doing that. I'm going to put one here make it bigger. I know um, Scrapping Amy had a um, a video that I didn't watch or that I watched and have forgotten. I haven't used Nouveau Drops in a while. And I know some of you are going to write me. I don't really want to do yeah, let's do one right there to be sure my arm doesn't touch one I've already done. So, okay, not the best um, Nouveau Drop technique. I will try to correct that before my next layout because I have to use um, Nouveau Drops on all. And, and some don't do that. Some some uh, colors are just not as not as thick or not as thin or some, the texture is different or something. Um, the, I had pulled this out because I this says what a lovely day. I'm gonna take this. This says happy days, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one that says love you and I'm gonna put it where did my tweezers go? I've lost my tweezers um here they are, they're under my roll of adhesive. I don't trust myself to put this on and get it parallel. So I'm gonna put it right there. Very subtle, it doesn't necessarily stand out. So it's done and I thank you for watching and um, I appreciate all of you, bye.